In this video, I'm going to explain how we're going to do work for the week, and we're going to do this a little bit differently this week. Um, so we're going to present, or I'm going to hit this in present mode. That's the best way to actually view this, and then when you have to do work, you can hit escape out of it. Um, so you're going to just hit Let's Play to um, to um, um, which we call to enter it. Um, so basically, for your crew to win, you have to complete at least 500 points before Friday, April 30th at 10 p.m. You get to choose which tasks you complete as long as you make it to 500 points. The goal is that we're each going to try to get do the best we can to get ready for our AP test this week. Um, you're going to upload your proof of your task completion to each slide. Um, you will turn in your completed slides at the end of the week. All you actually need to do is just work on the slide. It's the, the slides that are there um, actually for you. Just click on it. So that's your, and then you just hit complete when you're done at the end of the week. And it will actually be in the Google Drive folder. So I'll be able to see it from there. Um, late assignments will not be accepted on this. So we are no longer going to be accepting um, late work for, um, for the rest of the semester. You can still turn in late work on the weeks prior to week 15. You just keep from 15 on, I will not be accepting late work. Um, there is one mandatory task that you have to complete. We're going to do it. We're going to do have time on Wednesday to work on it, though you will be able, need to use some outside class time for that particular task. So watch out, though, throughout the week, the imposter will kill tasks that you can no longer complete. So that's hopefully to encourage you to, to work on the ones you want to work on quickly um, because the imposter will come and get them and um, take them away. Um, so what you can do is you're going to want to quickly choose and decorate your crewmate. If you hit escape, you can grab your little guy here and there's a video there that teaches you how to group it. Um, so I'm going to go back to my present mode there. Then um, you can put your little crewmate in there um, and then you get to just choose where you want to go. And it tells you over here what, how much everything is worth. Um, and then there is the 60.1 is a mandatory task. So I'll talk about that one first. We do have to complete the MDTP one more time for calculus readiness. And I know that seems kind of silly, but it'll be even sillier to do that after we do the AP test. And I don't think you guys are going to be testing more after we do the AP test. So um, we're going to, you can do this on any day. You just hit the link for the day. We are going to, I designated Wednesday to get this done as our class time, but we only have a 48 minute period on that class time. Um, and you've got about 70 minutes um, for um, class that day. So we're only going to click on the class activities the day and the week time you take the test. And this test is only available from 6 to 5.30 each day. So you've got to make sure you are in that window. Um, when you're ta if when you complete this task, you'd put your little crewmate there. If you do put your little crewmates on there beforehand, the just know that the imposter could come get it if you don't show proof of you actually finishing. This one, I will put the proof. I will add to your slide. I will check off when you finish. You can hit this little button here, and it'll take you back to the map. And then let me kind of go through a little bit of each one of the tasks. So I'm going to click this upper engine here. So this is um, the AP live videos. So you're basically you're going to watch the video, whether you did you're an AB or BC, and then the notes page is here for you to download. Um, you will upload your work here so you can insert an image. So once you, you get it, you get a picture of your work, however you do it, and that however you're going to get it, get it to your Google Drive. That's up to you. And then you can um, just do insert image and then and then plop that image right in there. You might you can put a couple of them in here. Just make sure that they fit in the white box. All right. Then I'm going to go back to pres Ooh, go back to present mode. All right. And I'm going to go back to my map. If I come into so most of my yellow ones kind of look like that. Um, this is one of the orange ones. These ones um, are basically you're going to be working on some of your some of our own pro your own problems. The more free response problems you do, the better. You're going to plot the year here of the problem number you choose. You can pick one off of this wakelet collection. You can do two of those, and that will get you the 50 points on that one. And I give you a little 15 minute timer so that you can time yourself um, to get those done. And once you've timed it, then go watch. Then I would go watch the video. I'd try the problem and do as much as I could in 15 minutes and then go watch the video. I believe that both of those are the same thing. Yeah. All right. Um, in here in the cafeteria, this is where they in, in Among Us we meet together. So this is where we're meeting together. Um, so we're going to make an attempt to do a couple free response problems every day together. And so you would um, the problems are here. Uh, SG means scoring guide. Um, but the problems are here. 
Um, so you're going to just grab the problems. You don't have, you can do any of this work on your own paper. You do not need to print anything. And then you're going to put, 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 pick, put copies of your work right in there. Okay. Um, and then, um, let's see, let's see what is in electrical. Um, so this is, you can come by and do an online intervention or at lunchtime um, and I and help me work a problem and you will get credit for that. You're going to insert your work there. Um, let's see, weapons. Um, you can go to a paper tutoring session. So, and then just make sure you screenshot the conversation and the written work from the session. You should be pretty self-explanatory. Here's one that's a circuit, circuit. So you're going to grab the circuit is here and then you're just going to put your work from the circuit there. Again, you can do your work on your own paper. You don't have to necessarily do it on the circuit. I believe this one is just another circuit. All right, um, and then finally, these last two, there's a Flipgrid task that you can do, and there is a Shields task you can do. And those, so those ones you can get done as well. And then, um, it, it, and then again, it's up to you. You just have to, to get your point total to, to add up to 500 points. Um, I'm going to click here. So there is a place to do your score. So you can you, to try to keep track of it. You're going to go here and it's going to force you to make a copy of that Google sheet. So this is just to help you keep track. Once you've made your copy of it, which mine is taking forever. Once you've made your copy of it, you can go ahead and share that link back into the slides there. So that way you always have um, a copy of that. So I would just, um, and make sure that you can, you can do restricted is fine and just copy that link and you'll put it back in here. So you've always got a copy of it. Um, but the way that this works is once you've completed the task, you just put a one in there and then it will total up the score for you. And you can kind of use that to plan out as well if you want. I hope that this makes sense. I hope that this is a little bit more fun and exciting than what we normally do. Um, so the imposter will start coming onto your slides starting on Tuesday. So you want to start working through this as much as you possibly can before then. Okay, hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon.